The only thing that stops you from achieving destiny and success is you. Why? Because you can't make up your mind. When you don't know what you want out of life, it will be virtually impossible for you to achieve it. I'm Tyrone Bowman. This is Tyrone Bowman Tonight. We're talking about a made-up mind. How many times have men and women been indecisive when it comes to what they want for dinner or what they want for lunch? Where they want to go for vacation? What type of house do they want? What type of apartment do they want? What do they want in a potential mate, a lover, or a partner? Indecisiveness is 99.9% .9 of the reason as to why people fail. Because they overthink everything. How is this going to happen? How is that going to happen? Where is the money going to come from? First of all, you can't even make up your mind as to what you want. When you make up your mind to succeed, there is nothing, no one, and nobody in this world that can stop you. The Constitution of the United States and the Declaration of Independence were written, framed, and ratified by imperfect men who made up their mind that they wanted to break away from Brit now called Britain, which was England back then. They had to make a decision. The Revolutionary War was a bloody war. Forget about all those beautiful platitudes that they write and talk about in school. It was a nasty, ugly, brutal war that gained the original 13 colonies independence from England. Because the framers of the Constitution made up their minds that they wanted a free and independent nation. Too many individuals are going through life not realizing that health, happiness, success, prosperity, love, joy, and money, it is their rightful divine right why? Because we were predestinated even before we came into the earth realm by Almighty God himself to succeed. Do you not know that we pre-existed in the mind of Almighty God? That is a stipulated fact. It's written in the Holy Writ attributed to King David. What is man that thou art mindful of him? In other words, who am I and what am I that you would even consider to think about me? Your life is important. Your presence is important. Your future is important. Future generations are important. But you have to make up in your mind that in order for posterity and legacies to be preserved, your mind must be made up emphatically. You can't play with it. And once you get your mind made up, clear it of all the garbage, the trash, and the junk that has been pilferated into your mind from who? Society. To the news, the never-ending news cycles, always telling you what you can't do, always telling you how hard it's going to be. Guess what? It's supposed to be hard. It's supposed to be difficult. It's supposed to consist of trials and tests and tribulations and persecutions to see if this is what you really want above any and everything else in your life. Look at the Williams sisters, who without a doubt and unarguably are the greatest tennis athletic performers of any era that has ever existed. In order for Serena and Venus to have been and are at the top of their craft, their father made up his mind while they were in Compton, California, that his daughters were good enough to play tennis. 
check out the story. Get a made up mind. When your mind is made up, everything else will follow. You can be, do, and have whatever it is that is good and right and just in this life. When you make up your mind or get your mind established, get your mind to the point that nobody and no one can change it, no matter what they say, no matter what they do, and forget about what people are continuously saying about you. When you care and give credence to what other people think about you, you will lose yourself. When you give credence and care to what the thought process in a negative manner is, coming from individuals probably whom you'll never meet, and individuals who don't care anything about your well-being or your welfare or your success, you've already given them your mind power. Mind power is the greatest power of all power. Don't throw away the power of your mind. Everything that exists in this world has come from the mind of men and women. The late Susan B. Anthony would have never achieved independence and the right to vote for women if our mind was not made up to pay the price for it. Dorothy Day. Oh, you don't know who Dorothy Day was? Well, check her out. I think I'll do a profile about her and the Catholic workers movement. They would have never succeeded if her mind had not been made up. The late represent, uh, Representative Shirley Chisholm is the one who laid the foundational structure for America's first black president. And Jesse L. Jackson was to John the Baptist of his prime. Senator Barack Obama, who became the first African-American president of the United States of America, his mind was made up that not only could he run, but he could win. What are your goals? What are your plans? What do you desire to be, to do, and to have? When you have an established mind, when you have a made-up mind, when you have a fixed mind, when you have a mind honed in and locked on success, like the eagle does its prey, nothing and nobody can stop you from succeeding. Stop listening to negative thinking, speaking, acting, doing people and get started on the road to success making up your mind. I've made up my mind that as an inspirational, motivational teacher, it doesn't matter what people think about me. I don't have to do it the way others have done it. And I don't need to take someone's course because I'm divinely appointed to do what I do. And I'm telling you that health, happiness, success, prosperity, love, joy, and money can be yours. The late Reverend Ike used to say two things. You can be what you want to be, you can do what you want to do, and you can have what you want to have. And he also used to say, you can't lose with this stuff I use. And he said, someone asked him one day, Reverend Ike, what is the stuff that you use? He said, mind power, baby. Use your mind power and you will never fail. Don't be moved by what you see, for we walk by faith and not by sight. Never surrender, never quit.